Hey guys, Half Cab Chris here. Um, I just wanted to point out a just a small fallacy, which I think probably becomes a bigger fallacy uh, and completely undermines the entire premise of the video, um, or at least the dramatic ending. Um, uh, Michael d talks about basically photons traveling forever, which you know obviously I think we all agree is true. Um, but he states that. Uh, you even though you can't see a star that's in the example he used a thousand light years away that it would still be em emitting photons uh, at you uh, i just want to show a static example of this um it's true what he said but it's not quite as clean as as he may have portrayed if you look here you can see just for just for the sake of argument that's let's say it's a star in the middle and then the arrows are photons leaving that star if i were to draw lines to make an accurate depiction of those photons leaving the star the lines would be much closer together in fact so close that it would just appear to be a big black circle of photons leaving the star but as you get further and further away from the star the the gap between the photons leaving the star uh, becomes more and more pronounced um, and an eyeball, a retina, sitting in between uh, this ga gaping angle, which uh, eventually it becomes, uh, would of course not be able to see any photons at all uh, because there would be none emitted to it. Um, so much so in fact that um, your eye, your retina would have to literally be in the exact place you know, that the photon is emitted. And this is a two-dimensional representation of what's really a three-dimensional and of course four-dimensional uh, thing because um, the photons are not being emitted in uh, regular directions. The directions change, uh, so if you were 2, 10, 15,000 light years away, a photon may not hit your eye one second and the next second it might. So such that the case would be you may detect and not detect from one second to the next that entity emitting those photons, but the point is is that yes, while you are emitting photons that would travel to the end of the universe, uh, a, a light photon detecting device may or may not, and a, as I've shown, you know, at the far reaches of the universe, most certainly just by math alone, um, would most likely never receive a photon from you because there becomes that gap as you get further and further away from which the photons are emitted. So, chew on that i'm not sure if that you know clarifies anything or undermines anything i just thought that, that was interesting uh, i watched the video a couple times and this just hit me the last time i watched it uh vsauce i love all your videos um you know i think it's great um i watch your your channel all the time um but uh just wanted to point this out guys and uh, let me know what you think in the comments